Rapper Cameron's interview with CNN anchor Abby Phillip was a confusing display, revealing a lack of expertise. Thanks for being here. First, when you saw that video of Diddy, Cassie uh, in that hotel, did you recognize that Sean Combs? Um, what I want to say, first of all, when I seen the video, um, everything in the video was egregious. I'm against. Uh, I don't support uh, all the charges that's alleged against them. I don't support any of that traffic and minors, uh, domestic violence. I'm totally against it. So when I seen the video, yeah, I was kind of upset with it. Uh, no, being that I know him, he's not necessarily a friend, but yeah, I was upset when I seen it. But did, did you recognize him? Everything I just said, what did you think about the apology that he gave in that other video? Ain't me for this, the apology ain't for me to decide for Cassie. What, what, I, what I think about it don't matter. Ain't do nothing to me. Cassie need to, need to ask Cassie if she accepts the apology. I told you how I feel. I said what I said. I want to play a conversation that you had on your podcast back in September with Mace. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. When you had your record mm -hmm. deal, why did you take me to Biggie Smalls and not um, Bad Boy? Man, it's almost gonna bring me to tears to say this. I just being that I saw you as as such a good friend, I want to put you with somebody I knew it. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. A lot of people ask me that on Instagram. Yeah, I knew man. Don't have me out here crying and shit, man. I don't want to get emotional knew, in here, man. Instantly I knew Biggie would would do right by. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I mean, is there, um, is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? Well, my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there, but for me to tell you mm -hmm. how Puff Act and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that was inviting me to. Yo, who, yo, who booked me for this joint? All right. I'll be Cameron. sitting around watching Diddy and all that. Yeah, Thanks. Man, come on, man. He stressed the importance of respect, courtesy, and responsibility in public discourse, highlighting that Cameron's rude and erratic behavior was problematic. This case likely draws public attention to the need for role models who embody responsibility and sincerity, particularly in media appearances. Analysts suggest that Cameron's actions perpetuate negative stereotypes about celebrities, hinting at their inability to engage in serious and respectful discussions on critical issues like domestic violence. This criticism extends to the media's approach to sensitive topics, indicating that interviews should be more focused and respectful to foster productive conversations. The emphasis is on maintaining order, respect, and appropriate handling of serious issues. The impact of interviews on public perception and individual psychology is significant. Cameron's unprofessional conduct may undermine the gravity of discussions around issues such as domestic violence or the responsibilities of high-profile figures like Sean Diddy Combs. His response and the overall chaotic nature of the interview could lead to widespread skepticism about the media's ability to effectively address serious social issues. Additionally, the lack of constructive dialogue might foster disillusionment and distrust among viewers.